Um, this exhibition seems quite appropriate at the time of the um, Poetry Festival in Much Wenlock for several reasons. Of course, because Adrian Henry was a poet as well as a painter and often better known as a poet than as a painter, but also because Adrian did come here um, to visit Much Wenlock, to stay with friends around here, and he often painted in the 70s and later, painted the landscapes around Much Wenlock. Um, in the exhibition, there are a couple of hedges, which are local hedges, so um, there are several reasons why this is particular, particularly appropriate for Adrian to be here. And so it's an exhibition of works on paper um, dating back to 1960 until 2000, which is the year um, of his death. And they represent the various periods in his work. So you'll have a selection of pop works, pop artworks, as well as uh, more pastoral landscapes, as well as more um, imaginary, hallucinatory representations of um, New York during Thanksgiving Day Parade. So there's a good selection of different kinds of works, um, all of them on paper, some of them prints, some of them um, drawings, some of them pastels. Um, so this is a print uh, which is based on a 1964 painting by Adrian Henry. It's called The Entry of Christ into Liverpool in 1964. And it's based itself on a painting by the Belgian symbolist artist uh, James Ansor, who painted The Entry of Christ into Brussels. And so Adrian had this habit of relocating famous scenes or famous characters to Liverpool. And here, um, various heroes and friends are gathered in Liverpool. The banner comes from uh, the original James Ensor painting, but in the painting itself we have figures that come from Ensor, such as Christ himself, uh, but we have other characters like um, Charlie Mingus here, or Ubu, Ubu, who was a character uh, from plays by Alfred Jarry, a French writer. You've got Roger McGough, you got George Melly, Brian Patton, um, and a whole uh, Sam Walsh, painter Sam Walsh. So here, uh, Adrian is mixing heroes and famous characters, as well as fictional characters like Ubu, with his own friends. Um, from 60s Liverpool. Um, it's, it's a slightly political, not slightly, it's a political piece as well with banners which um, read, ban the bomb, very, we're in 1964. Another banner is long live um, socialism, which does come from the Ensor paintings. So here we've got in 1964, a couple of years before the Sgt. Pepper um, album, by Peter Blake, uh, we've got this same si kind of frontal composition where all the friends and heroes are gathered in this kind of um, panorama of greats. Um, here you've got a print, a limited edition print called Cold and Valley Early Spring, it's 1981. Adrian often did, because he was a painter and an artist, he often did combine the written word and um, images on the same surface. So here um, we've got this poem about nature and the female body being mixed and this landscape is both a valley and uh, part of a female body. And this interest in both poetry and painting is something that uh, the Much Wenlock Poetry Festival is going to celebrate um, next year. From next year um, there's going to be a poetry in art competition which um, is going to take place here at the 2020 um, gallery. And um, the idea being to celebrate this association of poetry and painting in their work. So it could be a painting on which a poem is written, as in this example by Adrian Henry, or it could be um, a painting based or an artwork based on a work of literature and a work of poetry. It could be an object that is poetic in itself. The brief for the artists is not um, restrictive, it's quite wide. And the idea is to um, select, do a short list of these artists and to give them an exhibition here at the um, gallery. And the winner uh, will win a money prize, which is quite uh, substantial, because I think it's um, uh, uh, 10,000 pounds. Uh, and it's, it's, um, it's an expensive, uh, it's a generous prize. Um, and the first edition of this prize will be next year, 2012.